Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some Grounded. Uh, today is a very exciting today, not only because it is my birthday, but because today we are checking off a couple of items that have long been on the to-do list. Uh, today we are finally taking on the Brood Mother. Now, that's not all. We are also going to be trying to take on, um, not exactly another boss, uh, but, uh, we are also going to be taking on, uh, the infected wolf spider that lives underneath the tree, and actually one more that lives underneath the shed, uh, because that one is guarding a milk molar, uh, based on a little bit of exploration that I have done between episodes. Now, you also may notice that I am holding a brand new weapon here. Uh, this is, um, something that I crafted up as I was gathering some materials, um, between episodes, um, trying to get a little bit more of our little spinning wheel house knocked out. Um, and so this is our tick, uh, where is it? Over here. Uh, Makwati, or however you pronounce it, I know I butchered that, absolutely. Uh, but yes, our little tick knife, tick sword, and, uh, it is a very fast little slicing weapon, and the best part about it is that it has life steal. Um, so we heal ourselves as we attack our enemies, which is very nice. Uh, now, as I was searching around for crow feathers earlier, um, I actually discovered that there is a milk molar in this little rock face, uh, right below us. And so I'm going to try to grab it, uh, before we get started with our, uh, our brood mother, uh, escapades. Uh, if I fail, we'll come back later for it. It's not a big deal, but I figured... We may as well give this a shot. There it is, right there. And I think we're gonna get it just fine. There we are. And I also saw a mega milk molar over in the very corner of the pond, right over here. So let's try to grab that as well. And then we will make a quick run over to the hedge, hopefully before it gets too dark. Uh, not that it isn't just going to be dark in the hedge anyway. Uh, let's see. We need to get our mint mace out for you. I'll show off the other weapon here at some point. I'm not even going to waste my inventory space with all this stuff. Um. Ooh, a, uh, infected ladybug. We haven't dealt with one of these in a good little while. Come here. And there we go. All is good. Let's make sure I don't get exploded by the fungus while we try to harvest our milk molar. And here we go. Excellent. All right. Uh, there is a... Wait. Is there another one right here? Or is that just the, uh... The little radar glitching out again. I know it likes to do that. Uh, what? We'll worry about that another time. We at least just were able to grab two here real quick. Which makes me happy. And let's check if there are any upgrades that we need before facing... The Brood Mother. Uh, oh yeah, we've got six. Um, six Megas here. That most definitely means we can uh, improve something. I think last time I said we were going to do max cons or max resource size. Uh, consumables could be helpful with what we're doing right now, but I think I'll stick with resource size. Uh, like I said last time, and nothing we can do with our standard milk molars as of now. Uh, we won't worry about the science shop. Um, and I will at least grab one more burgle quest for us. Um, Alright, I think I will just go ahead and head on over to 
the hedge, and uh, I think I'm gonna grab this feather real quick on the way because it has been such a pain for me to get crow feathers. Alrighty, we are deep in the hedge now. I went ahead and was able to sleep till morning. And, uh, alright. First spider down. Um, and, uh, we should... Let's see. Be able to keep kind of making our way... Should be able to keep making our way over here. Words are hard. Uh, toward the brood mother's lair. I am going to take advantage of the water cooler that I thought was in this building. Um, well, so much for that plan. But that is okay. Um, alright, let's see. I am way above where I need to be. There we go, there's my zip line. Alrighty. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and build, even though I have my respawn point already in the hedge here, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one that's really close to the entrance. And, uh, we're gonna look through everything we've got here. So some of these are some materials I picked up along the way. Um, let's go ahead and try to sort this and see if that helps at all. Uh, but I've only got a couple of weapons with me. Um, the new tick sword. Um, I've got our trusty spicy coltana. Um, I'm imagining those two are going to be the ones I use the most. Um, I've also got our, uh, our big old crossbow. Uh, and our mint mace was mostly for taking care of any other bugs on the way here. Um, I have a few different meals for us, uh, that can help with a few different status effects, um, as well as a few different smoothies. I know that all of this is probably overkill. Um, I also brought several Broodmother BLTs, um, so we actually have several shots at this. Um, I don't actually think that it's gonna take us five tries. Uh, this is more uh, to the effect of I'm hoping that we can actually fight the Broodmother multiple times. Um, we do need Broodmother parts to be able to lure out the Orchid Mantis. Um, and then there's also a few other things that we can do with Broodmother parts. So if we can fight the Broodmother a few times, that would be ideal just to stock up on parts. Um, other than that, kind of bandages, I forgot to make more, uh, so hopefully that's alright. I've also got some healed bosses, so that's okay. And then we have just tons of, uh, beefy fuzz on the rocks. Um, I made the other smoothies sticky so that the effects will last longer. Um, we'll go ahead and, uh, basically head on over to the Broodmother's Lair, and we will consume all of those once we are ready to initiate the fight. Because there is no... It's not uh, worth wasting our uh, few seconds of those effects if we can help it. This boss arena is super cool though. Um, ominous for sure, but very cool. All right, armor is all healed up. I actually was able to upgrade it just a bit. Um, yeah, everything's about as healthy as it can be. Uh, so, let's see. I think I'm going to start off with... Um, honestly, we're going to go just crazy with some of this stuff. And we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to equip the Biomed badge instead of our, uh, what's it called? Dandelion Tuft, because we won't need that. And here we go. I'm seriously regretting my life decisions right now. Get 
Okay. Oh, I did forget to share my status effects as well. But I did... Uh, put on what I thought would be best for this fight. I think the only thing that I'm doing kind of wrong right now is that I am very dehydrated. Let's see if I can sneak in some water. As long as I can keep doing damage, this is kind of okay. Okay, good block, good block. She's freeing more babies. Alright, that was much better blocking. Much better blocking. Let's go. More Orb Weaver Juniors coming from the ceiling. Oh, she's screaming. Alright, we're gonna take some juice. Let's just fully heal. Oh, almost parried that. Just need to get rid of all these little ones. Honestly, I should probably just focus her. She's coming down pretty well. Oof. Oh, stamina's gone. Did we get it? Yes! Okay. Whoo! All right, we got our mom jeans. So where is that? Is that this one? Your vocal cords stretch to form spiderlings summoning motherly cries. So that one's pretty fun. We can actually summon our own spiderling army. Um... Oh yeah, most of our status effects here are going away. I think our food is kind of staying with us. Um, you know what? Let's uh we're going to run it again. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to chuck my sword there apparently. Oh, but I am apparently very hungry. Uh, and that might be because of the biomed badge. Uh, I think we're only gonna do one of our meals here. Um, damage resist seems like a good idea. And let's, let's go for round two! like the scream Okay, that's that's a lot of babies.
Okay, that hurt. That hurt. I love this boss music though, it's so epic. Alright, why am I getting the Orb Weaver Jr.'s health bar instead of hers? There we go. Orb Weaver Jr. is the real boss. And me again. Haha! Oh, just kidding, you have a spider. Things are so huge! <laughs> but I still win. Oh, but that poison definitely still hurts. Uh let's let's just put a little bandage on. Um oh yeah, the status effects. I never did show you that. Uh I've been running uh Blade Master since I'm using one of two different blades. Uh, coup de grass, uh, to try to get my critical hits, cardio fan for the stamina, poison resist, obviously. And then, for now, the yoked blows, I don't know how much that's helping me, especially since it is only phase one of three, but can't hurt, right? Um, alrighty, let's see, let's see. Um, I think... You know what? I think for the sake of just getting more of these parts, I'm just gonna keep running it? And maybe we we try a run here with our our handy dandy uh oh I needed to eat a meal. Mm. Not bad. Uh, we're gonna try our spicy Coltana this time. Oh my gosh, this does so much damage. Obviously, it's not as gonna be as strong at blocking. Oh, don't yell at me! No, I said don't yell! <laughs> I wonder if spicy safety or something like that would have been smart. <laughs> Get knocked. Oh, you have lots of children again. Oh, that was a weird looking attack. Oh, I'm almost dying. Oh gosh, wasn't paying attention to health. Uh, I was just focused on Big Mama. Ha <laughs> ha Alrighty. I actually, so the start of that fight seemed to go super fast and then it slowed down a lot. I don't know if it was because of all of the, uh, uh, the little guys that that she spawns in or not um, but that's that's very interesting um, I don't know I kind of feel like the uh, the tick blade might be the better way to go um, all right I'm gonna try to just breeze through these last um, these through these last little uh, fights. Yeah. 
Oh, I was standing on it. Oh, I'll stunlock you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, darn. That was, that was good damage. Oh, until you scream at me. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, oh my gosh, we're getting so much web fiber from this. This is crazy. All right, let's knock out this last one real quick for the supplies. And uh, then on to the next spider. Oh no, my armor's breaking! Come on, one more! Yes! Also, I realized I never peeped it. New one for the beast, Jerry! So, that's unfortunate, because I potentially could have gotten a gold card, maybe? Uh, but, that's alright. We will take our fifth brood mother and run. Uh, now I was planning on going straight to the oak tree. But, uh, my- oh, that's not the way out. Uh, my armor is basically toast. Uh, so we're gonna run back home real quick. Fix up the old armor. And, uh, then... It is time for the infected wolf spider to meet its match. Whoa, I just got an orc receiver. I've been killing these orc ants, although I don't see it. I wonder if that's like a kind of a key item or something. Oh, no, there it is. Interesting. All right, well, before we head on home to get our armor repaired, let's stop in. And say hello to Mr. Burgle. Hello, Burgle. And we, uh, no, we don't need to go to that terminal. We need to go over here to the resource analyzer and check out this stuff from the brood mother. Club of the mother demon. Excellent. Whoop. And. I'm guessing a stuffed brood mother? Uh, yes, and the trophy and the mask of the mother demon. Excellent. Our raw science levels are, uh, most definitely getting up there. Uh, all right, well, with that, uh, yes, you can do it the Roby's way. Um, all right, let's sneak on out of here, because I definitely hear the infected wolfie prowling around out here. Um... And, uh, it's not time for you yet, bud. Uh, let's run back home. We can drop this stuff off. And then it is time... ...to face the infected wolf spider. Uh, so by the way, guys, uh, now that we're back home, I can kind of sh quickly show you the updated spinning wheel house. Um, I did end up changing the roof a little bit. Sadly, I could not pull this out half a block, uh, just due to the way that the building restrictions work with how, uh, the triangles interact with the crow roofs. Basically, it has to be a full block. Uh, I didn't love the way how that looked, so I actually then have the middle section come out half a block as well. It's a little harder to tell on this side because it does intersect with the grass quite a bit. Uh, in hindsight, I wish I could pull this building this way um, just a bit. Uh, but here's how it looks on this side, which I really, really love. Um, and uh, just to show you how that little 
um, kind of extended portion looks in here. Uh, basically, it allows for some shelving. I haven't filled it in, but we'll throw some chests in there. And then kind of a little alcove where you have the windows. Uh, on this side, that's where I've thrown the spinning wheels. And uh, basically, it's all done other than I'm missing one single piece of crow feather uh, just to finish off the roof on this side. But uh, just to give you that little update, that's what is going on uh, there at our little spinning wheel uh, medieval house kind of thing that we were working on. Um, but anyway, we need to do some repairs, and I did get some repair glue ready for us. So, there we are. We've got our, um, uh, armor all repaired. Uh, let's put, I guess, the orc receiver in here for now. I don't really know what else we're gonna do with it. And let's see, what else can I just throw in chests? And finally, uh, let's just see. Mask of the Mother Demon. Uh, that does not use much at all of our... Uh, of our brood mother resources. So we're just gonna go ahead and make it, because why not? Uh, we also have our new club of the Mother Demon, and that leaves plenty behind as well, so we're gonna make that. And, uh, da, 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 da. we are gonna have still four chunks for the trophy, and for the stuffed... Rude mother, how many is that gonna take? Uh, four more chunks. So as long as we can have 12 chunks and 10 fangs, we can make ourselves like a giant brood mother just chilling here, which could be kind of funny. Um, all right, so this is gonna be a really slow but really good club. that we might want to upgrade. Um, I don't think I have any of the weapon upgrade stuff here. I do not. I think I actually moved that down to the forge because uh, I was working on uh, getting some of the uh, additional uh, blob kind of things cooked up. Uh, so most of the weapon upgrade stuff's down there. So we can go take care of that. Um, but otherwise, I think we are good to just leave our brood mother parts here. Um, ooh, I guess the exception is if we want to go ahead and make... Um, would that be in here? Yes, the orchid kebab. It's going to take five brood mother chunks and two fire ant heads and one wooden splinter. Uh, whoops. So... I think what I'm going to do is actually just take half of these. We're going to make two kebabs. Uh, oh, all of this would be over here. Uh, I think it needed two heads and a splinter each. And we can go cook that up and see about upgrading this club. I do have some damage on a couple of my buildings here. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I've been just kind of making up a few additional materials in here. Uh, but yes, let's put one kebab there. Well, actually, it doesn't matter which oven I put it in. I think it would have been done at the same time. Uh, there we go. Put those in there. And then what can we upgrade? Um... Select you and get the upgrades going. Now, do we want this to have any kind of uh, elemental effect? I feel like its damage is already so high that putting some kind of glob on it wouldn't be a bad idea. We already have a mint club. 
Uh, we don't have any spicy... Eh, maybe we... Well, we don't have a mighty glob. The only thing we could really do would be salt or mint. Maybe we just leave it at that for now and we figure it out later. Uh, I think the last thing that we want to do as far as prep work goes is maybe grab one or two more meals. And is there any more that we can make? I can make a new black ox burger. That would not be a bad idea. And we could bring... Do I only have... I have an omelette and a fungus pacho. Um... Yeah, we can take maybe one of each of those with us. So, I'll get all that. I think I'm also going to go ahead and just repair uh, these two weapons real quick. And then make our way back down to the oak tree. Alright, we are back here at the oak tree. Just going to go ahead and set our respawn point right down here. And, uh, obviously, you can see we are quite hungry. We're gonna go ahead and eat that Black Ox burger and top it off with a little bit of, uh, jerky. And let's do some damage resist and maybe a little bit extra hyper stamina. And I think we are just going to go for it. Now, I think for this guy, I'm just going to go in with my, my Coltana. Now, we do have to find the big boy. I thought he was just right inside there, but it was just an orb weaver. Of course, the one time that I'm not being immediately stalked is the one time I want to find the big ol' menace. Ow. Actually, it didn't hurt me. Aha! That's right, I've been in your home! All right, you attack fast. Oh, but this is just burning through him. You think you're tough? Not a chance. Not a chance. That was practically easy. Well, let's go find our other infected big boy. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go with the regular old spider, too, just for good measure. Literally couldn't get a hit in on us. There we go. See, we're, we're just getting all kinds of, of spiders done today. All right. We have arrived at the home of what should be. Aha, there. Oh, no, that's that's an infected larva. False alarm. Uh, there's the big boy. All right. We already got big mama. Let's see if we can take on another one of these guys. And this time the arena is going to be a bit more hazardous. Because there is a lot of fungus. Oh, but we lured him over here.
That did not feel good, sir. Oof, that big jump. But easy once again. All right, let's go ahead and bandage these wounds, and then I definitely remember spying, uh, albeit from afar, a milk molar. And even though my milk molar scanner, oh, we'll, we'll take that aphid with us. Ah, yeah, right there. My my scanner's been glitching out a bit. That's why it's been showing us like somewhat near a milk molar this whole time. When we haven't been, we are indeed near one now. And there it is. Alright, well, man, this is a lot of fungus down here. Um, I know there was some upgrade material up behind us, but let's clear out some of this, uh... Explodey stuff and see if there's anything else worth harvesting. Alright, well, that was not my best job of, uh, parrying a, uh, a what's it called? But that is alright. Uh, infected larva is what it's called. Uh, looks like mostly just a bunch of different kinds of mushrooms. This is basically a little fungus pacho breeding ground. Uh, at least nearly. Uh, doesn't have, I guess, the red mushroom chunks, but we've got the other two ingredients. Um, but here we go. Some sturdy quartzite. Take that with, for sure. Um, that looks like all. And is that the only other thing of value here? Can I sneak this way? Looks like I can. I think some of the, uh, little spidery egg sacks looked like- Ooh, nope, here's something else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of those have looked like maybe the marble, but I don't think that there is anything else that we urgently need to grab. Alrighty, folks. Well, the spiders have gone down. I know we didn't fight a Black Widow today, but we've done it before. And, uh, I do so happen to have a couple of mantis kebabs with me. Now, I don't- I know we don't have nearly the, uh, the meals that I scarfed down before facing the brood mother. So, this is going to be extra challenging. But, I think that this is worth giving a shot. I think we're gonna level up the boss, move on from spiders, on to the mantis. Okay, weak, salty, resistant to everything, uh, hit it in the eyes. Oh, gosh. Holy, that health bar. That is a sweet attack. Where are you 
going. Alright, we're, we're... Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got our extra smoothies in us. Ow, ow. Alright, we're good, we're good. Attack sucks. Just gotta play this careful. Of course I don't bring my salt morning star like the one time I really 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 need it. Try the club. That comes underneath the thing.
Jeez, like, give me an opening to attack? had the wrong weapon. Alright, we do have our other kebab still. I don't think that we should have... Actually, I think we did lose a fair amount. Our inventory was, like, mostly full because we had fought the, uh... Uh, the wolf... The infected wolf spiders and then went over there. But let's see, can we get a good salty weapon going here and try that again? Because I feel like if we just have, like, a better, it. better weapon going, we might be able to do this. Alright, so, uh, we are gonna go ahead and upgrade our Salt Morning Star just to be as prepared as we can be. Uh, we don't have what we need to be able to make Mighty Jewels just yet, but that is, um, as of now, I think basically the best weapon we can have against the Mantis. Uh, I do need to make sure that we have this equipped in our um, hotbar where needed. I think we do want the crossbow on that one. And I'm basically replacing the Coltana there because I think that the... Uh, spicy is like the one element in particular that the mantis is resistant to. Um, and so we definitely don't want to use the Coltana on it. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, I accidentally grabbed those with me. We can just leave them here. Um, I have a few more smoothies. I don't have quite as many healing smoothies as probably I should have. Um, so, you know, here goes nothing. Uh, there's a few more bandages, and then uh, we're gonna go grab a couple of meals out of the uh, little cafe here. Uh, we're gonna grab a black ox burger, an omelant and a fungus bacho just for all of those nice side effects and uh, hopefully actually you know what uh, yeah we will go ahead and still build a uh, a lean-to just outside of the boss room so if this time if we fail that is unfortunately going to be it for today uh because i don't have more kebabs and i think i'm going to for now save my remaining brood mother parts to be able to make uh the head mount and the stuffed brood mother uh just in case i end up wanting to do that sooner rather than later um, but, uh, I can always go try to farm some more brood mother parts, um, off video now, since I have done plenty of that in today's episode. I'm sure you guys Don't are even need to boil it. plenty satiated with, uh, brood mother fights for the moment, so. Um, yeah, I just need to find a little bit of, uh, clover. I think I've kind of passed most of it in the area now. Um. Just need to grab that for the lean-to. Here we go. And head back up to the boss room. 
All right, let's plant ourselves a little lean-to here. Set our respawn point. And back into the mantis plant we go. We can grab our stuff first. Badly. Don't worry, Tiny Pete. I'll get you a meal. Let's see. Let's munch on a bit of jerky. Actually, we didn't even need to do that. Uh, we're gonna eat all of these. We're gonna consume all the smoothies. And then we've got green machines ready for healing. There it is! Oh, this is going so much better! why it's like not letting me block those like last time whenever it did that kind of multi-attack where it just battered on me I was able to block it oh it's because of my barbarian perk that would be it We can do this. Thank you. 
come on. Be smart. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Get greedy! Yes! Whoa! Apex Predator! Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. That's right, you disappear. Oh my gosh, that looks wild. Uh, status. Apex Predator, that's gotta be down here. Apex Predator. You become the strongest creature in the backyard and are able to bring out the hidden strength in weapons made from bosses. So that's gonna like buff my Broodmother Club? Interesting. I don't know exactly what that effect does, but I'm just gonna leave it on because that sounds really cool. And then we need to go research these mantis parts like now, except let's sleep first. Oh my gosh, that boss fight. Oh boy. My goodness. All right, well that was awesome. I am so happy that I decided to go ahead and do the Mantis fight. That was so much fun. Um, yeah, that's definitely gonna have to happen again. I am excited now to be able to go back and just like make a whole bunch of those Broodmother BLTs. <sighs> Farm up the brood mother and then go have a few more goes at the mantis because uh, I honestly thought the brood mother was going to be a bit tougher from what I remembered, but I think that we've just leveled up so much that that wasn't the case. But oh boy, did that mantis deliver on the promise of a challenge. So that was quite a lot of fun. Um,. Now, as we are wrapping up here today, um, I will remind everybody that this is going to be a little bit of an unusual week for content. Um, namely, that uh, we are going to be having uh, some bonus stuff coming out this week. Um, coming between now and our normal uh, Friday Raft episode. Um, so, some of you might be aware that there is uh, another survival game uh, coming out, uh, if you're watching this the day it comes out, um, then tomorrow, uh, March 29th, um, that has a very similar premise to Grounded, and that you are surviving um, as a, uh, you know, a kind of miniature person uh, in 
the wilds. You know, you are shrunk down the size of an ant um, and have to survive. Um, now, I, I think that uh, ultimately that's probably where most of the similarities stop. I've heard that the gameplay is quite a bit different. Um, but this, um, this game is small land, and, uh, I am going to be giving that a shot as soon as I possibly can, um, and, uh, hopefully uploading, um, a couple videos this week with my, uh, start of a playthrough there on small land. Um, so be looking for that. Um, if not, uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday the 29th, um, then it'll come out definitely on Thursday. Um, and I'll try, I'm gonna try to get a couple of those episodes up this week, because I'm really excited for that game, and, uh, would love to see kind of how it compares, uh, to Grounded, uh, with some of the kind of, you know, miniature world kind of stuff, where we're gonna be, um, you know, wading through blades of grass, having these giant branches of ivy going above us, and, uh, dealing with, um, you know, little bugs like ants that can attack us and are a threat. So, um, it'll be interesting to see all of that kind of stuff and also all the things that it does quite differently because I know that there are going to be, uh, quite a few differences between the two games. Um, so, uh, make sure that you guys are, uh, tuned into the channel for that. But for now, let's get back to some Grounded and, uh, check out what we can do with all these mantis parts. The Assassin's Mask. The Assassin's Chestplate and Greaves, and the Orchid Mantis Mount. And then this should be what I'm most excited for right here. Hopefully we have enough to make it. The Scythe of Blossoms. And... A stuffed mantis, of course. Very, very cool. Um, will we have enough to make any of these? We will. A deadly nimble scythe crafted from mantis chunks and a mantis claw of a fallen assassin. That is sweet. Um, and then we'll see how much of maybe this mantis armor we can make. Oh, we can't because of the pond moss. Um, and then we won't have a mantis claw for the chest plate or the greaves. All right, so the armor is going to have to wait, uh, until the next time that we take on the mantis. But, that is super cool. Uh, let's run back home real quick and, uh, get this scythe made. Try it out on a couple of, uh, little ants at least that are running around. And then we will wrap things up for good. Alright, here we are. Scythe of Blossoms. Let's craft and equip. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. No, no, no. Well, then this is not complete yet. Uh, wait. I think I had to put this away up here. Yes. There we go. This is how we have to close things out. There we are. Now, look at us. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks so cool. We do need to go find a drink. But, oh, my. I know I don't normally go into third person and stuff in this, but I just couldn't resist showing off how this looks. And this is a weapon that is just large enough that it demands being in uh, third person to truly show it off. Let's see if we can take on this bad boy. I know it's the wrong type of weapon for him, but... Whoa, it goes fast! Oh, my God. 
Hungry, so our, our stamina is low. <laughs> he stunned the ant. Oh gosh, don't actually kill me here. There we go. Whoa! Well, that was cool. Alright, let's go back down here and finish this. Oh, I don't have a... <clears throat> I, d I didn't have a dandelion equipped. Whoopsie. Alright, we're trying this again, bucko. There we go. This thing just moves so, so still here. fast. That is so much fun. Alrighty. Well, I think that that is going to do it for today. Um, so, thank nice you guys so much for joining me on uh, the special, special birthday boss bonanza episode of uh of grounded here i know it's kind of taking a break from our uh our normal uh kind of uh flow that we've been doing of doing a lot of base building and trying to keep going a little bit with the main story uh we've kind of been splitting our time lately with the two of those but um we've also most definitely been neglecting uh, taking out the brood mother for quite some time now. And, uh, you know, it's also just about time that we finally deal with an infected wolf spider. And I really had no intention of taking on the orchid mantis today, but that is icing on the birthday cake. So, uh, you know, this, oh my gosh, this new weapon just feels like so much fun. So I'm very glad to have it. Um, so yeah, uh, next time on the channel, it'll be in a very similar style game, doing some small ant, but next time here on Grounded, um, I think that maybe uh, we're also going to kind of do a little bit of catch up on some things that we maybe should have done earlier uh, by starting to do some of the mixers. Uh, I think that our first one is somewhere... Uh, right look. over here in the lower yard, uh, kind of right on the edge, uh, perhaps somewhere over there, um, of the, uh, near the edge of the haze and some of this grass, I think. Um, but yeah, we might start doing some of the mixers as kind of a practice, uh, for what I imagine is going to be the mixer situation, uh, right up here in order to get the uh, the old Javamatic back up and running. Um, so that should be quite a bit of fun. Uh, a little bit of a, a different twist on kind of a, a boss fight, if you will. Um, and we might uh, be able to build some kind of defensive structures and then uh, practice um, dealing with big waves of mobs rather than uh, just one big beefy guy at once, so that should be quite exciting. Um, but anyway, until then, um, I hope you guys are excited as I am to start delving into a brand new game with the Small Land content. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, uh, be sure to drop a like. It definitely helps me out and helps the channel to be discovered. Um, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss out on all of the awesomeness coming your way this week and beyond. Um, other than that, I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all again very soon.